Why am I here? Well, when my children were really young, I spent countless hours asking around for book recommendations, poring over Amazon reviews, and searching endlessly through websites for high caliber books, books that mirrored Islamic values. And it turns out, as you can see from the panel up here, that I wasn't alone. With that, after years of reading, sifting, searching, discussions, and planning, I'm excited to share with you a site that we've developed uh, for all of you, our community, in mind. We pray that this tool enables parents and educators to quickly find recommendations for books which build character, teach virtue, and instill in children a morality that, inshallah, will develop or help develop their Islamic worldview. Before I get started, can I see a show of hands if before tonight you had actually heard of Mindful Muslim Reader? Okay, of those that are raising their hand, and raise them high, because I, I just want to get a sense of the room. Um, have you, uh, did you know that we had a website? Okay, and of those that are still raising their hands, did you go to our website? Okay, okay, alhamdulillah, that's good. Um, with that, let's get started. So at Mindful Muslim Reader, you'll find over 200 book recommendations at the moment with many, many more on the way, spanning all ages and genres. Each of these books on our site have been read cover to cover using our rigorous review process and rating process that we took years to develop. Let me begin by showing you how we've classified our recommendations. At the top of our homepage, you'll see books by values, struggles, age, and genre. Let's start with books by values. So as parents and educators, say you're looking for a specific book to teach a child the value of service, whether it's service in the home, it's service in the neighborhood, it's service to the community. You can actually look, uh, with, uh, sorry, without expectation, and this is the big one, without expectation for anything in return. And you could select service and find books that actually help build that um, value in your, ch in your child or in the child that you're reading to. Or you find yourself wanting to build in a child an appreciation and respect for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creations and, no and the knowledge that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with. You could select reverence. Perhaps you're looking for books beautifully highlighting a prophetic example in a male role model, such as providing for the family, working hard, protecting women and children, controlling anger and being the most gentle and kind to members of his family. You would select manhood. Or you find yourself in need of books that beautifully show strong female role models, nurturing and working hard to raise, um, to, to uh, nurture the people in their family, or to, I guess, uh, yes, uh, help, help with the family, showing mercy and being graceful, you would select womanhood. In addition to those values, we have values such as courage, patience, humility, generosity, and gratitude. Now, we've also grouped books by struggles. And to understand uh, what we mean by struggles, I'd like to give an example. As we know, children learn through stories. Perhaps you've seen your child, a child in your care, struggling with social interactions at school. They need help understanding the consequences of intimidation or discrimination. You would select bullying. Or you see that a child is making choices that they normally wouldn't, only to fit in. Then you would select peer pressure. Maybe you just want an opportunity to teach your child or a child what to look for in friendship and why choosing the right friends is important. You would then select friendship. Of course, we have other struggles here. Take, for instance, boredom, something we all know children struggle with. We need to be able to teach children that it's okay to be bored. They don't always have to be entertained, despite the nature of our society today. In fact, we need to teach them it's okay to be quiet, to be still, to reflect. And you would use books uh, under boredom. Perhaps, um, actually, I'll go to the next one. So we also categorize books by age. Now, we have uh, books for 0 to 4, 4 to 7, all the way to 15 plus. 
This is really helpful if you have an avid reader and you want to ensure that there's appropriate content in their hands free from modern ideologies. You could look for books this way. We keep things, themes and language in mind when uh, grouping books by age. We have um, also grouped books by genre. Pretty standard, but I wanted to call one to mind, uh, one to your attention, specifically biographical. Today, children are bombarded with images and messaging from pop culture icons and social media influencers that can build a damaging worldview. Here you can find biographies of real life heroes that direct our ch children's hearts and minds towards admirable character traits and ideas worth learning. In addition to these four categories, we also have book lists. S uh, sorry. Audiobooks. So at the beginning, at the top of our book list, we have audiobooks. And there's a fantastic way of building listening comprehension and reading skills. But reading skills start by listening, by learning the vocabulary, by listening vocabulary. So they can be fantastic for car rides, but they can also be great to listen to while doing chores, doing Legos, or working on art projects, something that I have my kids do. We also have book lists for books that'll appeal to, uh, to girls and books that'll appeal to boys. Calling to attention our gold star list. This is a great list to find the absolute best of our recommendations, books that elevate the standards and understanding of virtue in an engaging and beautiful way. We also have a list of read-alouds, uh, Empty Pot of which was, uh, is on that uh, list, which provide for excellent discussions while and after reading of a book. And we also have just added a new list called teaching tools. So many of our books on our site right now have discussion points related to the book that you can find and I'll, I'll show you in just a minute. Going back to our home page, at the top right now you hit find a book and it takes you to our book list. And in our book list, you can actually filter, so go ahead, next slide. You can filter by the same categories, uh, categories that I just talked to you about, age, genre, um, values, and struggles. Once you find a book, you can actually take a deeper look. So let's take a look at Empty Pot right now, and the book that she just read. And you'll see that at the top, there's tags related to the very values and struggles that we just talked about, but all the values and struggles found in this book. In addition to that, you'll see the synopsis of the book. You'll find the synopsis of the book. And ratings. As we read cover to cover, we rate for virtue, story, language, and beauty. A little bit lower, next slide, you'll see this um, button here. It's called yellow flags. This is where we flag any questionable content that may be found. In the book, The Empty Pot, there was actually, it's really hard to see from where you were, but there was an image of, of a child not fully dressed, so we called it out here. But of course, for books um, with more, um, uh, with things that we have to be more careful of or mindful of, we list them out here and it would be a fairly lengthy list. The thing is, books, even if they have yellow flags, they're still books worth reading, and that's why we have them on our site. Further down, we have something called a mindful review. So this is just a review that helps you understand why we chose this book. So in addition to the synopsis, why we chose this book and how you can use this book, or why we find this book to be of value to your child. And then further down are the teaching tools that I had just talked about. Even further, um, down you have our affiliate link. So if it's a book that you want to gift or you want to purchase, uh, clicking on one of those buttons, whether it's Amazon or Bookshop, and we try to use Muslim uh, bookstores when we can, um, helps support this platform. Now, our site is not just for younger children. Our site is actually, uh, can be used for older children as well. So when I talk to you about the age groups, there's a 15 plus uh, section as well. So if we go to the Malcolm X book that's there, it's a very famous, well-known autobiography of Malcolm X. I wanted to show you why this book could be an excellent read aloud opportunity for your child. And I, I meant that, what I said, a read aloud for a 15 plus uh, child. They're not children anymore, they're young adults. But having said that, they serve as excellent ways to be able to have 
deep and meaningful conversations um, or discussions. So here's uh, one uh, teaching tool I wanted to point out that you can find on our site. The word Islam means submission, submission to God. Malcolm says, the hardest test I ever faced in my life was praying, bending my knees to pray, that act. Well, that took me a week. You know what my life had been. Picking a lock to rob someone's house was the only way my knees had ever been bent before. I had to force myself to bend my knees and waves of shame and embarrassment would force me back up. For evil to bend its knees, admitting its guilt, to implore the forgiveness of God is the hardest thing in the world. Discuss how Malcolm's climb out of the state of depravity began once he submitted. This is an example of one of the teaching tools that you can find on our book. And this is also an example of why reading aloud to even 15 plus year old young adults is so crucial as they're out there in the world learning ideologies from the world around them. Where do you want them to learn these ideologies? In the home with you or out there? Things that you have to think about. Beyond our book list, we have a space where you read, uh, where we have blog posts on how to nurture a reader in our home and we have extended book reviews. We pray that this platform serves as a useful tool in providing easy access to books which nurture our children's worldview one book at a time. I hope, inshallah, you have a sense now of the type of books you'll find on our site. Still, I want to give you peace of mind of the types of book you will not find on our site. Books that uh, show atheism, disrespect towards parents, elders, tradition, and authority. Books that showcase or highlight scientism, the non-binary view of gender, moral relativism, and individualism.